So I could be wrong with this, but in Oakland, an issue why we don't have a lot of Oakland fighters is the perils of street life run parallel to boxing gyms. So a lot of great fighters get distracted by what's going on in the streets or have trouble getting to the gym or staying focused in the gym. How is that issue in Philly? Is that an issue? Uh, and how are people working around that? It's, it's a big issue in Philly, you know, like we, we same way streets everywhere, you know, a lot of gun violence, a lot of, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, we try to, we're learning to work around it because people don't like, they want outlets now. They don't want the, the same, the same thing over and over happening, losing your family to the streets getting involved with the streets. So we try to find a lot of outlets and and some of the champions like, you know, Gerard Boots and this Stevens, Kubo Steph and uh and them guys, they they help get people to the gym, you know? If somebody needs money to get to the gym, get it to the cab, they they like to help. You know, J Rock does it, they all do it. They help so cause they try to change the narrative with these with these boxes, lose their life on the streets wherever they're in the gym, you know, or getting in unnecessary street fights. So they try as much to help out as they can, like a pick a fighter up or like stuff like that. You know, that it means a lot. You may not think it means a lot, but it means a lot to the to the to the uh to the average person that's out here in the streets where you have the world champion give you money, help you get to the gym or want to see you do better so you can you could be better, you know. Like it, it, it really do mean a lot if you really think about it. You well, know, because some of these people, some people grow up without parents. And when you have somebody that you know that's helping you out that you can look up to, that's that's doing things like that for you, you know, that shows that they want you to be great. You you could be great. Well, what I was gonna say is, I also think I grew up with a lot of people that didn't love themselves. So for someone, yeah. they never got love shown to them. So then when a world champion is showing you love, I'm sure for some people, that's like this foreign feeling where they're like, wait, someone cares? Like, I've been used to having yeah. to take things from people, earn my respect. I'm hella angry all day. I got a punch on people. And now someone's going out of their way to give me $20 and I just got to show up to a gym and work out. That could be a life changing yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and like those, those guys, they helped me. They helped me. You know, I because I had my times, you know, where I wasn't in the gym and all that, but they helped me, showed me, you me back into the gym, like, bro, like, this is where you belong. This is where you belong. So I've always been there since then. Who brought you back into the gym? What, do you remember a moment that got you back in the gym? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Steven Fulton Jr., cool boy stuff. Well, give, give us that story because that's a friend of the program. So do you remember the moment or anything? Because I think these are the yeah, stories I people want. Moment. I lost I lost my cousin, my brother, and my uncle in the same year. He was around with me during that whole time. Came around, talked to me, made sure he stayed around me, bro. Like, and he was getting ready for a fight then, too, but he was always around. So... Once I got through the moments, he helped, showed me like an outlet, helped me start rapping just for an outlet, just to uh, get my feelings out there because I didn't know how to express my feelings and all that. So I, I started expressing it through music. Then he showed me like, bro, you got to get like back in the gym there, like help level my head out. And then he just walked. I started going to the gym with him while he get ready for a fight just to train, just to get my feet wet, just start getting myself back into it. And then... And then, sure enough, I started getting back where's though, getting in shape because I was going running with him. He was taking me running at times. Um, then at the running, strength and conditioning, they was paying for my strength and conditioning. They, they, they helped out a lot to get me back to where I needed to be. Well, and, I think it, you you brought up something I want to touch on because as men, at least the men in my life, I didn't have many men. I didn't have a dad, so I didn't, I didn't have a lot of male yeah. role models. But um, – I was never taught to to talk about my emotions and you brought something up. So yeah. like this year I lost my cousin. He committed suicide. I've had a lot of people passing. So I relate to what you're saying. Not that I'm trying to be that it's the same, but I relate. And the hardest thing yeah. for me was to put words to it because my whole life it's yeah. been hold everything in, hold the situation down, make sure you're making money. So your family's okay. 
And then now I have to speak with emotion and I've got to be real to, to my friends who I call brothers and use my words in vulnerable ways. And I think that that's the, the yeah. one of the things about boxing is by doing boxing, I think it helps strong men and strong